Hi folks, this is Mark by Mark A. Foster, PhD, for the Maoist Third Worldist Collective. It's been a couple of days since I have made a podcast. Uh, reason, uh, my car was in the shop for about a week and a half, and I just picked it up. And uh, so I had to do some uh, last minute work before picking the car up and make, making sure the car was okay and all that stuff. Found out that there are a couple of additional things I have to have done to the car in the next month or so. Uh, so I've been trying to figure out uh, the best way to handle that. So I apologize uh, for my absence for the last couple of days. Um, I've been thinking about what to talk about today. And I think I have come, come up with uh, something which uh, may be um, helpful uh, to some people. I don't know. Uh, I don't, you know, that you, you will be a better judge of that than me. To me, the reason why I am here, the reason why I am living in the capitalist world system, the reason why I am living in the center, I would even say the uh, sewer of the capitalist world system, the United States of America, is to be of service to others. Now, I am not saying that in some kind of metaphysical way, meaning I'm, uh, <laughs> I've not been inspired with that idea. It's just something I've reflected upon because I really don't like being here. If I had a choice of picking any place else in the world to live, it would probably be a third world country. I don't know which one, having given it that much consideration, but it would not be here. Um, but since I am here, since I am in the Rio Grande Valley of Texas, uh, perhaps the most corrupt area of my country, uh, what a security guard described to me as the spillover effect for Mexico, which dominates this area and fills it with corruption in virtually every industry I've encountered, from medical to auto uh, to even buying T-shirts um, to having a, uh, uh, a doorbell, an electronic doorbell installed. Uh, everyone here seems to be trying to rip other people off. And I don't know why they're doing it. Maybe some of them are poor, but most of the ones that I am encountering are people who have jobs. In many cases, they are people who actually own their own businesses. And they don't look like they're suffering to me, although who knows? But as people who've lived here longer than me, and I've only been here a year and a half, have said to me that everyone in this area seems to be trying to take advantage of somebody else. It's tragic. That's tragic. Same person said, and this area is a predominantly Roman Catholic area. And most of the people in this area are or claim to be deeply religious and to attend church on a regular basis. And he, he joked and he said they must spend a lot of time in confession. That makes sense to me, although I, I'm not Roman Catholic, so I'm not really qualified to comment on that. But certainly the behavior that I have seen from many people around me is not what I would consider to be high moral behavior. Most people here don't seem to have a well-developed moral compass. I think I do, humbly, or at least I'm trying to develop one. I realize my own weaknesses. 
My weaknesses outnumber my strengths by many times over. I realize my own personal faults. I think my own personal faults are tremendous. Obviously, that's my own judgment. Uh, I think I also have some strengths. But I focus more on my faults than on my strengths. And that's not because I feel bad for myself. It's because I'm trying to improve myself. And by focusing on my strengths, I'm defeating that purpose. What's the point of doing that? So I spend much of my time reflecting on me, on Mark, who I am, what I am, what I've done in my life, which in my view is not nearly enough, what I plan to do with the rest of my life, which probably is not that long compared to the part of my life that has already passed, considering I will be 68 years old in two months. Um, and I've come up with a few ideas. For one, I think that the best thing that I can do is to figure out how I can use my time, my considerable assets. I would say, unfortunately, I do have considerable assets. I wish I didn't, but I do. And my time to be of, to be of service to others. That's the best I can think of. I, I don't know what else to do. So what I realize is, for example, in terms of money, I've been wasting money. Every month, I get a huge carton of food from Nutrisystem, which, was, which is a diet plan. Do I really need Nutrisystem anymore? Yes and no. I could certainly stand to lose my <laughs> my overwhelming stomach a bit but not as much as i did um instead of consuming the food from nutrisystem i've been spending a lot of time in restaurants so sometimes at the end of the month i will go and i will look at the carton and realize that I haven't even finished the snacks, maybe half finished or almost half finished the snacks. I haven't even gotten to the breakfasts, the lunches, or the dinners. They're still in the boxes. They don't last forever. I don't know how worth they are at the end of a month probably a bit, but after two months, three months, uh, I assume they become less healthy to eat. So I realized I'm simply spending too much money on food, a hundred dollars per meal. And I don't even feel it. A hundred dollars per meal. Even as I am sitting in a restaurant eating, I feel bad about what I am doing. That's what I mean when I say my considerable faults. That's the major one. I'm not a glutton in the usual sense, but I guess I'm somewhat frivolous when it comes to spending money on food, on restaurant food. I tip a lot, about 35% on a meal. I'm sure the servers appreciate that. 
And I think that's a good thing to do. That's not, I don't think that is a fault. But I wonder how, by leading the life I am leading, I am contributing to conscientization, to the spread of class consciousness among those who really need it. And there are a lot of people around here who really need it. The people, for example, that I mentioned at the beginning of this podcast, who seem to revel in ripping people off. They literally seem to enjoy it. And I'm basing that on my experiences. I can see the smile on their faces as they think they are fooling me, which they're not. I mean, they don't know who I am. They don't know that I have a PhD. They don't know that I'm a retired professor. They just see me as some guy coming into their store. But because of my perceptive skills as a sociologist, I am able to observe them and to see what it is that they are doing. And I realize that they know what they are doing. Why they are doing it, I can't read their minds. But what am I doing? How am I helping to increase their class consciousness? Because I believe that the problem that exists in this area, as in perhaps most areas of the world, is a lack of class consciousness. Now, as a third worldist, a Maoist third worldist, I don't place much hope in the first world. I think that revolution will, will start at some point, perhaps if we are fortunate as a planet in the third world. But still, that doesn't excuse me from not behaving as a revolutionary. And by behaving as a revolutionary, in this case, I mean engaging in conscientization, consciousness raising, as Paulo Freire called it. Conscientization, a wonderful word, a wonderful word. And I am not doing it as much as I should. So, in the last couple of days when I've not been in podcasts and I've been focusing on my car and other matters, mostly related to my car, I've also been thinking about ways in which I can improve my own character. Stop eating out so much, which I will do. I have not eaten out in the last few days. That's the first time I have done that in years, in years, 10, 20 years. So I've decided that not that I'm, I will never eat out. That's silly. Of course, I will eat out occasionally. But not every day. Not spending $100, $200 per day on food. When I know people in this world, especially in the third world, and people in the fourth world are starving to death in some cases. So my feeling is that the essence, if there is an essence, of being a Maoist third worldist 
is living the life of a servant. Being, being a bearer of good news. Of course, I'm in a way stealing the term from the Gospels. <laughs> Gospel, which is good news, or glad, or glad tidings, as some people translate it. That's, of course, not what I'm talking about exactly. I'm talking about the good news of the possibility, the possibility of emancipation from capitalism, from poverty, from racism, from sexism, from ableism. And I have not been doing that that much. Have I, have I been doing that at all? Yeah, uh, of course, making these podcasts and, and some other things here and there, writing my book, my current book, my latest book. I've written many before. I mean, that's good, I guess, but it's not enough. It simply is not enough. I still feel so strongly that I am wasting my final years away. And so my promise is to myself. I don't need to make it to anyone else. Is that I will try to be a better servant of others. A better servant of others. To see myself as a servant of others. And the resources that I have to try to use those for the betterment of the proletariat and the subaltern. Because if I don't do that, then I will truly have wasted my life. Do I care whether people remember me? No, I could care less. In fact, I'd rather people would forget me. Not because of any kind of low self-esteem, but simply because I don't care. I don't think I, I am worthy of being remembered. None of us is really worthy of being remembered as an individual. We are all here, I think, to be of service. And the only thing I hope that remains of my life is the service I have performed. And so, that is my decision. I will stop eating out for the most part. I will give more money to the needy. And I will spend more time coming up with new and better ways to advance the causes of Maoism third worldism and Roy Baskar's critical realism. And I hope that will be sufficient. Uh, again, I deeply re regret that I have not thought of this before. Well, thought of it. I guess I've thought of it, but I didn't take it seriously. I allowed my own interests, my own temporary desires to interfere with my ability to serve others. That will end. This is Mark by Mark A. Foster, PhD. 
for the Maoist Third Worldist Collective. Have a pleasant day and an even better day tomorrow.